So, bros, you having problems with your laptop? I'm just the guy to talk to about that. You know, in fact, I'm here to tell you on how to properly take care of your laptop. <sighs> Alright, dudes and dudettes. You're going to need to know how to take care of your laptop. That's what we're here for. Let's bring the laptop over. Now, see, here we have a compact laptop. You know, it comes issued with, you know, pretty much anything you need. Windows 7. You know, everything. You know, let's get a couple good glance at it real quick. Basic computer care would be wiping your monitor down. Not with your hands, of course. You know, you're going to get some you wanna get some wipes and everything. That's just a cool thing to do. Because it's not cool if you can't see what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. You know, I've had so many times where I'm looking at my computer screen and it's just full of crap. But now we're going to boot it up for you. And we're going to show you, you know, what, what the startup phase is. We're going to show you how to properly get into your computer. Power cable. Comes with every computer. Ours Most. happens to go in right here. Here, I'll let you get a better view of that. It's a little hole. And you simply plug, plug it in and, and press the bad boy power button. Let's get this more situated. When your computer begins to boot up, it should show the name of the computer or computer company. And from this point, you should begin to see Microsoft Corporation, Apple, whatever it is. Oh, no! What's this? That is a boot error. You know what that means? That means no matter how many times you press the key, it's going to say the same thing. It means your computer is sick. Your computer is very sick. So there's only one way to cure this. You need to check to see if there's anything in the CD drive. And plug any flash drives you may have plugged into your... There's no CD drive. So you might as well just take that thing out. <laughs> now that you've taken that useless piece of equipment out, we can actually start to get down to business. Your computer's not going to get any better unless you eradicate the issue. I think point. she's about fixed. Now, if at this point your computer's still not working, what do you recommend doing? Well, you could continue to beat the shit out of it. Or, let's say I've beat the holy crap out of this thing all night long. For hours among hours, and it's still just not working. Here, you need, you need to also see... As well, you need to start okay. ripping up keys. Can I just have whack at it? Yes, just have a go ahead. Oh, you hurt my fingers. I'm so sorry. That. Can I have funny or anything? Now, see this cheeky little person. Here, there you go. Yes. See, if this, if this all is... the shrapnel you're going to want to keep over here in your separate shrapnel <laughs> useless pile. Do you need any more of this, this CD drive that we never, we don't need this? You start the computer. See, look how many keys we have gone. It's, it's almost there. Then we're going to restart this bad boy and see if it doesn't run hella good. What if you're trying to clean your computer, say you have McDonald's grease built up in it, how would you go about removing that? Um, I believe McDonald's grease is the only irremovable product from a computer. There's okay. the boot up screen, we're doing good. So we're, so we're making progress here. We now, are making, we? Some, making some hella good progress. Oh. oh. Nope, still not clean Gosh, enough. Right. Look at that. Nope. Gosh darn it. Should you need to tra trash your computer. So at this point, what do you recommend? Do we, do we give up all hope on it? Normally, you see this little this little thing sticking out? Yeah. That's connected directly to your screen. Okay. Now sometimes, if, if it's not, if it all else fails, and you've taken all your keys out, you've done everything to your computer yeah. that you can think of, there's another option because it could be there's something wrong with your screen, so you just take it. Table. That's called screen recalibration. At this point, should we plug it back in and see if it's working it's, yet? It, it might work now. Let's do a little bit, you know. I think that I think that did her. Yeah, I can definitely see how much more flexible the screen is now. Yeah, I mean it's. It, there's, you wow. Can't, yeah, you. That's can't, amazing. There we okay. go. Okay, we're we're good so far. It still it still knows what it is. Oh, oh. darn it. <clears throat> Okay, um, now this, I know what this is, okay? It's, let's make it good, I'm going to get a close-up look at that, okay? See this circle? It's a boost. It's a booster. This one right here is a booster. It boosts your computer performance by just sticking it in any it place. It sure does. If you just lay it in your just computer, lay in there. you don't have to plug it's, it in. It wirelessly syncs to your Wi-Fi. Like, that's actually something that you can probably be used in some other laptop. He's going to take the RAM out real quick so we can... Use it for future. So, we, so we future, future reference, future RAM, it's always a good thing to have. And this is... Let's see the, let, let yes. see the RAM real quick. Now this... RAM is what helps us all do now normal things in regular life, man. I mean, like... Can you see it? Playing, you know, sweet betas, 
or whether you're on Pester Chum or whatever you're doing, Ram's what helps you do yes, that because you, it helps you get the memory. Now, to do it. now we have a bucket filled with water. You can actually see the water physically right there. Okay. And we have one computer in the works. You know, the diamond in the work, but it will look at there. And now we're just going to take the computer and lightly place it in the water. Place it in the water. So we're going to let it soak for about an hour and a half. It's been about a good hour, hour or so. Half. So we're going to remove the computer. Let, let it drain out. Yeah, you sure let it drain out. The insides are going to be very wet. Let me just let me see that rag real quick. <laughs> Plug direct power back into this bad boy. And we're going to power it up once more. There's really only one thing we can do with this computer now. You're now going to want to unplug the power. You're not going to need this power supply any longer. Okay. With your computer, you're going to want to try to restore it one more time. So what we're going to do is give it grows. a second soaking. We're going to give it a second soaking. Back in the computer, this submerged time, with water. How long do we leave it this time? This time you're going to want to leave it for about... About 30 minutes. Okay. Shady. Okay, and after you slosh it around for a little bit, I'm gonna wanna reach in there and we'll pull out our new computer. Oh. Okay, let's see if this bad boy boots up a little bit. Oh, wow. He's even playing music for us. And he even boots right up to YouTube. So anytime you need help with computers or anything electronic, email me. This is Dave Strider, and this was Technology Today.